The other day I was asked by a group of therapists to come to a unit that we run regarding drug and alcohol counseling where these men instead of five to ten year state time come and work with us for a year in order to deal with their addiction. And they asked me to come and speak on the word love because oftentimes love is one of the most misused words that we have. Love is a word often stated, but you know what? It's not followed through on. It's often the most lied about statement that anyone makes. When someone says, I love you, often what they really mean is, one, I want to be able to love you. Two, I want to see myself as someone who loves you. Three, I want you to feel like I love you, so you will. Four, I recognize I should, that I should love you, so I will say it. Romans 12, 9 and 10 states, Love must be honest and true. Hate what is evil. Hold to what is good. Love one another deeply. Honor others more than yourself. In these verses, God challenges us to evaluate our use of the word love. Are we simply expressing a fantasy when we think, feel, or say, I love you? I imagine the phrase, hate what is evil, sandwiched between these two sentences, has some meaning when it comes to dealing with love. To distort the meaning of love undermines God, who is love. It disrupts our relationship with Him and our basic humanity. We were created for relationships. To be negatively motivated regarding why we attach to others has great negative consequences. May you look at your relationships and say the word love truthfully. This is not an expectation of perfection because only God loves perfectly but it is an intentional statement of commitment that must be followed up on with committed action. God, this day, is going to show you numerous ways to put your words of love into some form of action. Maybe it's taking time to get on the floor and play with your children, or to write your wife a note. Whatever God leads you to do today, don't miss it. May God give you the ability to love well this day.